Hello Dragonfly Swarm! It's been a while since I've made a video like this, so I'm honestly really excited to jump back into informational content, and what better way to jump back into said content than by making a 2.7 updated guide on one of the strongest 4 star DPS units the game has to offer. This is Yanfei, uh, she is terrifying. <laughs> Yanfei is a Pyro Catalyst user who's been a staple DPS pick amongst many players since her release way back in 1.5, and naturally, as time has gone on, she's seen lots of new playstyles, team synergies, and builds come into her meta, so I figured I should should cover it because if you're too poor and or unlucky to pull for Hu Tao, Yanfei is the lady for you. Possibly. For me to be honest, the cool thing about Yanfei is that although her main source of damage relies on her charge attacks like many other DPS characters, Yanfei actually has a few mechanical tricks in her kit that allows for fun and rewarding skill expression. So we're gonna start by taking a brief look at her kit. Starting with her normal attack talent, Yanfei has a 3 hit combo in which she shoots fireballs that actually have a really long range, and every time these fireballs hit an enemy, she's granted one scarlet seal. Before C6, she can hold a maximum of 3 scarlet seals at any given time. These scarlet seals will all be consumed when Yanfei performs a charged attack, empowering said charged attack based on how many seals are consumed. Each seal consumed reduces the stamina cost of that charged attack by 15% and it increases the damage of the charged attack by a significant amount. And this little built-in passive on her normal talent is what defines Yanfei's playstyle. She's a charged attack based main DPS who performs best when you weave combos and animations to land consecutive empowered charged attacks on enemies. Please note however that because she's so heavily charged attack focused, you will have to manage your stamina carefully, even with her built-in stamina reduction passives. Trust me, my lazy ass tried to get around it. If you're good at jump cancelling, this is kinda less of a problem, but then again and once again, I can't really comment on animation cancels because I'm lazy. I just sit there and shoot. Yanfei has a rather simple elemental skill in which she summons an AoE pyro explosion on nearby enemies, which deals a respectable chunk of damage, but it will also instantly grant Yanfei the maximum number of Scarlet Seals she can hold, allowing you to quickly sneak in a second fully empowered charged attack. So for example, after performing a fully empowered charged attack, you can now simply cast her skill onto an enemy and BAM, you got another fully empowered charged attack, and it only took like half a second. Yanfei's burst essentially turns her into a steam engine for 15 seconds. When activated, she'll immediately summon an AoE pyro explosion from her location, and for the next 15 seconds or once she leaves the field, or dies, she'll generate a Scarlet Seal passively every one second. Additionally, during this time, she gains a percent based charge attack damage bonus, which increases as you level up the talent. This burst is insanely useful for Yanfei as it allows her to quickly and constantly maximize her Scarlet Seals, which will in turn allow her to perform a lot more empowered charge attacks. I think it's worth noting that there is kind of a rhyme and rhythm to how quickly she maximizes her stacks during this burst, so once you get the hang of the tempo of it, for lack of a better phrase, you'll find that you can perform charge attacks nearly as fast as Hu Tao can with similar impact. I mean, th that was a little bit of an exaggeration, but I, it's still fast. As for Yanfei's first ascension passive, it basically makes it makes it so that she gains a 5% pyro damage bonus for every scarlet seal consumed before each charge attack. Pyro damage bonuses gained this way will last for up to 6 seconds, and if you perform another charge attack with, let's say, less scarlet seals than the last one you did, it will override that initial pyro damage bonus with a lower one. So. Try not to do that. As for her fourth ascension passive, whenever Yanfei's charge attacks land a critical hit on enemies, they will now essentially generate a second AoE pyro attack equal to 80% of her total attack. And yes, this second attack will also benefit from her burst charge attack damage bonus because its damage is considered charge attack damage. I have said charged attack way too many times today. I do want to brush up a bit on Yanfei's best rotations before we move on though because I feel like it's not as widely known as it should be, but you actually don't usually want to spend too much time trying to maximize her scarlet seals before each charge attack. Because of the ICD that Yanfei's pyro application follows, she essentially can't make use of reactions for the majority of her normal attacks, and so spending too much time performing normal attacks for one big charge attack every now and then will actually net you a noticeably lower damage output than if you instead grab around two Scarlet Seals and then focus on landing more, smaller charge attacks. Basically this is because her charge attacks don't actually have any ICD or internal cooldowns, so you can spam them with reactions such as Vaporize to make the most of her on-field time. To further that point, while weaving in her burst and her skill, you'll be gaining more Scarlet Seals than usual, and as such, you're gonna be able to maximize your 3 or 4 Scarlet Seals much more often anyways. So in general, stick to 2 normal attacks and then a charged attack. That will usually provide you the highest damage output. As for her constellations, Yanfei is a god. It's kinda weird, cause her constellations genuinely take her from a really not bad at all character to a, is she really a 4 star? 
character. At C1, each Scarlet Seal consumed during a charge attack will now reduce the stamina cost of that charge attack by an additional 10% per seal and will increase her interruption resistance during the descent of the attack. This is gonna allow you to toss out a lot more charge attacks during her on-field time and her stamina will be able to keep up with her burst high tempo playstyle much easier now. It's a great first constellation all around. C2 is amazing for its ability to help Yanfei utilize her fourth ascension passive almost constantly as it will increase the crit rate of her charge attacks by 20% against enemies below 50% HP. So now she really is judge, jury, and executioner. <laughs> Get it? Because it's like a, it's an execution passive. It's like, it's a term, but it's it's also a law term too. What are you Yanfei C4 is really weird because now it grants her a hefty shield when she casts her burst, and the shield will absorb damage equal to 45% of her maximum HP, and it's gonna absorb pyro damage 250% more effectively. This is insane for Yanfei, as it now makes her fully self-sufficient in regards to interruption and survivability during her burst, so you can now team her up with more damage-focused supports rather than survivability supports, if you so choose, and you won't lose out on much survivability at all, cause she brought her own shield. Finally, at C6, Yanfei can now store a maximum of 4 Scarlet seals rather than just three, and while this seems extremely simple, it actually means a lot of things for her, since her entire playstyle and self-sufficiency is based around these seals. Seeing as Yanfei's charge attacks can now be empowered by another seal, it means more raw damage bonuses, way more stamina consumption reduction, and an additional 5% pyro damage per charge attack at maximum seals. It's kind of weird to think that this one little addition to her arsenal essentially buffs her entire kit, which makes it a great final constellation to shoot for if you really want your Yanfei at maximum potential. Moving on to Yanfei's artifact, fact options, it's funny because she actually has a lot of options to choose from and most of the choice just depends on what team you place her in. I'm gonna start by mentioning the biggest three sets in my opinion and then I'll go downward from there into more niche but still viable sets. Firstly, Four Piece Crimson Witch of Flames is generally her best set considering it grants her the highest consistent DPS potential when running her in reaction based teams. The two piece effect grants Yanfei a 15% pyro damage increase which is a sweet increase for her entire kit's damage output but beyond that, the four piece effect increases the damage of all pyro related reactions minus Swirl and Crystallize. It also grants a 50% increase to the two-piece set's pyro bonus for 10 seconds every time you cast Yanfei's elemental skill, and this increase can stack up to three times, each stack's duration dependent with one another. So to simplify that in regards to how it affects Yanfei, after casting her skill three times, this set is granting Yanfei a 37.5% pyro damage bonus on top of the percent damage increase to her pyro reactions. And it's actually pretty easy to maintain and utilize these bonuses as well, so long as you're running her in reaction teams, of course. Another of Yanfei's strongest sets is the Four Piece Wanderer's Troop, which grants 80 Elemental Mastery as the two piece bonus and 35% increased charge attack damage as the four piece. This set is really simple, and yet it does wonders for Yanfei. In my personal opinion, it's the most well rounded jack of all trades set because you can run Yanfei in any team and maintain a consistently high DPS with her using this set. It's also worth noting, in case you forgot, that the extra instance of damage her charge attack does when critically striking enemies does get amplified by this set's four piece. My most controversial pick for Yanfei's set is definitely Shimanawas. Uh, Shimanawas is a really weird artifact set given that it requires you to sacrifice energy in order to buff the character's damage, but at the end of the day, all's well that ends well, shardy. The two-piece effect grants Yanfei 18% bonus attack, and the four-piece set makes it so that anytime she casts her skill, Yanfei will consume 15 energy to increase her normal charged and plunging attack damage by a whopping 50% for 10 seconds. And while that does seem really nice, there are several drawbacks that I gotta mention if you're gonna use this set. Firstly, you'll need a good pyro battery and and decent energy recharge on Yanfei herself so that she can still use her burst because her burst is vital to her DPS. And secondly, the cooldown on her skill is 9 seconds so you will be able to maintain the 4 piece damage bonus for the entire duration of her burst, but in order to do so you have to remember to weave in her skill in the middle of her burst so you don't miss out on the massively increased charge attack damage. Honestly it's kind of just a pain to use this set, but if you're not running Yanfei in reaction teams or you just happen to have a really good 4 piece lying around, Shimanawas is a bit of a blessing and a curse, so do with that what you will. I want to mention some other niche options for Yanfei as well though, including Retracing Bolide, which is great for C4 Yanfei or Double Geo Yanfei, Lava Walkers, which is nice if you're running Mono Pyro Yanfei, and then obviously Two Piece Crimson Witch plus any of the Two Piece attack sets is a decent all-rounder. Overall though, with the artifacts, Crimson Witch has the highest consistent DPS potential, Wanderers is easy to farm and lovely to use, and then Shimanawas is HELL! 
unless you're willing to conform to strict playstyles. Regarding stat priority, you're gonna want a pyro damage cup, a crit damage or crit rate circlet, and then for the sands, I'd recommend an attack sands, but if you already have a decent total attack on Yon face, say upwards of 15 to 1600 or more, you can actually benefit pretty heavily from running an elemental mastery sands instead, assuming you run her in a reaction team. For substats, your favorites are gonna be crit rate and crit damage, again, just focus on whichever you need to fit more of a stable ratio, but Yanfei also enjoys attack percent, elemental mastery, and energy recharge substats. And speaking of energy recharge, even if you're not using Shimanawas, you're generally gonna want at least 20 to 40% extra ER under your belt to cover her energy recharge needs. Yanfei actually has a lot of viable weapons to choose from, which is kinda ironic since most DPS Catalyst users have strict best in slots, but considering how flexible Yanfei's builds can be, I'm gonna mention the most noteworthy Catalysts first, and then I'll brush over some of the more niche ones. Starting with her very best in slot, the Lost Parrot of the Sacred Winds not only covers the majority of her crit rate needs so she can focus heavily into crit damage, Damage, it also grants her a perfect passive to match her elemental burst. At R1, the passive increases Yanfei's movement speed by 10%, and every 4 seconds spent in battle, Yanfei will accrue an 8% elemental damage bonus, stacking up to 4 times. This works perfectly with Yanfei's playstyle, as her typical field time ranges around 16 to 17 seconds because of the long duration on her burst, and extra elemental damage on a character that only uses elemental damage is <laughs> pretty nice. Skyward Atlas is also a strong 5 star catalyst for Yanfei as it grants a nice attack percent bonus and a flat out 12% elemental damage bonus at R1, but beyond those points and the very high base attack, I'd say it's quite outclassed by Lost Prayer. Yanfei also uses Kagura's Verity pretty well, but it takes a while for her to maximize the passive stacks bonus because of her 9 second skill cooldown. Also, her skill doesn't account for much of her DPS anyway, so the biggest value you're gonna get by using this weapon over Lost Prayer or any other choice is the high base attack, formidable crit damage bonus, and the 12% elemental damage bonus at max passive stacks. Regarding the more common weapon options, however, I want to mention the Widzith, which is one of the most insanely broken 4-star weapons in the world. The Widzith is a gacha exclusive, which means you can only get it by pulling on a banner, but if you do, it's amazing with Yanfei. The huge 55% crit damage bonus and decent 510 base attack are only half of what makes this weapon so good for her and other DPS catalysts, because the passive, especially at high refinement, can be insane. The passive effect debut grants Yanfei one of three random effects for 10 seconds when she takes to the field. Those effects being either a 60% attack increase, a 48% elemental damage bonus, or a 240 elemental mastery bonus, and those numbers are literally at R1. So to put that into perspective, if you're running Yanfei in a reaction-based team comp, it doesn't even matter what debut effect you get, it's just gonna be a massive damage increase all around every 30 seconds when she hits the field. Mappa Mare is actually also a pretty swag alternative to the Widzith, especially if you're running Yanfei in reaction teams, because it grants a nice elemental mastery bonus, as well as an 8% elemental damage bonus anytime she triggers a reaction. I will say, Solar Pearl and Black Cliff Agate are also very solid options for Yanfei, although in theory they're a little more difficult to obtain than a single copy of the Widzith, but they are both decent alternatives if you just can't get your hands on a Lost Prayer or the Widzith. And if you can't get your hands on any of those 4-star weapons, uh, you're gonna have to cope with the Emerald Orb for now. But that's okay, because this weapon isn't totally useless. In reaction-based teams, the Emerald Orb is really nice on Yanfei actually for the Elemental Mastery bonus it grants her, as well as its passive, which grants Yanfei up to 4 40% bonus attack for 12 seconds anytime she triggers Vaporize. As for some of the more out of the way weapon options for Yanfei, Memory of Dust is pretty swag if you're running Shield Yanfei with the Retracing Bolide artifact set. Uh, Everlasting Moonglow is actually not that bad on her if you're running Shield Bot Yanfei, but like, no one's doing that, so. Hakushin Ring isn't horrible on Yanfei, and neither is Frostbearer or Sack Frags, but they are far outclassed by my aforementioned top picks just because Yanfei doesn't really make much use of them. Overall, with weapons, if you have it, use the Lost Prayer or the Widzith, and if you don't have those weapons, Mappa Mare is your most easily accessible and strong alternative, especially when using elemental reactions. And finally, we gotta discuss the team comps. As you've probably gathered by now, Yanfei can fit in any number of team comps, so I'm gonna explain in detail the strongest of which first and then I'm going to briefly brush over the more niche comps for the Copium Inhalers. By far the most popular Yanfei team is the Vaporize Reaction Team, in which you pair Yanfei with a Hydro Applicator, a Pyro Sub DPS slash support, and an Animo Damage Buffer. The Hydro Applicator is almost always Singcho, but with Yelan being a 5 star version of Singcho, you can very confidently substitute him with her. That is, if you can pull her. The Pyro support is usually either Bennett or Xiangling, given they can both dish out and or cause Yanfei to dish out massively increased Pyro damage and battery for Yanfei very effectively 
easily. But if you haven't yet nabbed Yanfei's C4, it might be worth using Tolma as your pyro support for the extra survivability with his shield. And the Animo damage buffer is exclusively either Sucrose or Kazuha, because both of these characters not only shred pyro resistance with a four-piece VV set, but they also grant elemental mastery and elemental damage buffs to their party, allowing Yanfei to take advantage of significantly increased reaction damage. Kazuha does it way better than Sucrose does, but most of the Genshin community doesn't yet have Kazuha because they got debated into believing he's unworthy of being pulled for. Oh, how the tables turn. Sucrose is still mad strong though. She's great for buffing Yanfei's pyro damage. You can also actually substitute your Hydro Applicator for a Cryo Sub DPS character, such as Kaya or Rosaria, to turn the team into a Melt Reaction comp. Then there's Mono Pyro Yanfei, which is surprisingly strong. You just pair Yanfei with two pyro supports, say Shangling and Bennett, and then top it off with Sucrose or Kazuha, and your raw pyro damage output, as well as your pyro energy circulation, will be amazing, as long as you don't run into a pyro slime. One of the more niche comps with Yanfei is one in which you use the four piece for tracing Bolide and pair Yanfei with two Geo characters and a shielder. With Geo Resonance, Yanfei's damage output while shielded will be greatly increased, and this works especially well with her C4 as she can grant herself a shield. After factoring Yanfei and the two Geo units, you can fill the fourth character slot with Syncho for vaporize multipliers, an Animal unit for Shred, another Pyro unit for energy circulation. It really just depends on personal preference because the main damage increase comes from the Geo Resonance plus Yanfei synergy. You could also run Overloaded Yanfei in which you pair her with an Electro Sub DPS to cause overload explosions, and honestly, with weapons like Mappa Mare, Wizith, and Hakushin Ring, it's not a bad team comp, especially given Yanfei's very long attack range, helping her to keep up with enemies as they fly backwards. But it's still a relatively underwhelming comp, especially when compared to vaporized teams and whatnot. But I believe that about sums up all I had to say about Yanfei. She's definitely one of, if not the strongest 4-star DPS option in Genshin currently, and her fun and interactive kit makes her, in my opinion, a very rewarding and worth worthwhile character to invest in if you have time on your hands. If this video helped you in any way, please don't forget to like and consider subscribing. I would very much appreciate it. And if you want to see more of my content, I compel you to join my Discord server. Those links are down below, and I am now going to go pretend to be a Yanfei main for a few more days and mingle amongst the other Yanfei mains, because you know what they say, keep your friends close and your enemies closer.